This video explains how to generate random values with a fixed mean and standard deviation using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to set a random seed to ensure reproducibility of our code. So after running line two of the code, you can generate exactly the same random values as I do in this video. In the next step, I want to demonstrate how you would usually generate random values based on the rnorm function. So if you want to generate normally distributed values, you would use the rnorm function, as you can see in line four of the code. And then within this function, you would specify the number of values that you want to generate. Then you would specify a mean value and a standard deviation. So after running line four of the code, a new vector object called x1 is created, and we can print the first six values of this vector object by running line five of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a vector containing randomly distributed values. However, if we apply the mean function to this vector, as you can see in line seven of the code, you can see that the mean is slightly different compared to our previously specified mean value of five, because in this case, our mean value is 4.799. And the reason for that is that due to the randomness of the random number generation, the mean value is not perfectly hit. So if we would increase the number of values that we draw from this distribution, then we would get closer and closer to the value five but we would probably never hit the exact mean value that we have specified. And the same is true for the standard deviation that we have specified. So if we check the standard deviation of our vector object by running line nine of the code, you can see that this standard deviation is also close to the value two that we have specified, but it's not exactly two. So in case we want to generate random numbers with a fixed mean and standard deviation, then we have to create our own user-defined function, as you can see in lines 11 to 13 of the code. So in this case, I'm calling my function rnorm fixed, and then I'm creating a user-defined function, which takes the number of values that we want to generate, the mean that we want to keep, and the standard deviation that we want to specify as input values. And then within the function, I'm using the as vector function in combination with the scale and R norm functions to scale our data to a fixed mean and standard deviation. So after running lines 11 to 13 of the code, you can see that this new function is appearing at the top right. And now we can apply this function using exactly the same input values as before when we applied the rnorm function. So after running line 15 of the code, you can see that another data object called x2 is appearing at the top right. And this data object also contains randomly distributed values, as you can see by running line 16 of the code. However, if we now apply the mean function to these data, you can see that the mean is exactly five and the same is true for the standard deviation. So if we apply line 20 of the code, you can see that the standard deviation is exactly two. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.